Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nima and this is Here is Nima where we talk about all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle, feminine essence, feminine energy, self-love, and development. If this is your first time watching any one of my videos, definitely make sure to like and subscribe and um, follow me on Instagram and all that jazz because guys, I... I'm here to stay. I love this. I love this. YouTube has been honestly the best hobby. Y'all see I changed up the background a little bit for y'all. Um, just, you know, you get tired of filming in the same places all the time. And um, I just love it. I had so much fun with YouTube. Um, and I just love bringing this content to you, for you guys. Uh, this is honestly like my own little uh, public <laughs> kind of um a little diary and um i get to just share different topics with you guys things that i feel will enrich your life y'all know i'm all about the self-development for women who are you know wanting to live a more aligned lifestyle a more aligned life in their feminine energy and essence in their womanhood and i just feel so passionately and deeply about this um and i just wanted to kind of come on today and share with you guys some thoughts that I've been having about time and your time and how valuable your time is. Uh, and I don't want to make this video like too, too long, but this is definitely going to be more of like a chit chatty girl talk type of video. So um, I want y'all to go ahead and get comfortable. I'll light your candle. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what candle I am currently lighting. And I want to also show you guys the wine that I'm drinking. So I'll insert the picture and show you guys that I've really been loving this wine. Go ahead and pour you a glass of something, you know, water or whatever it is that you want to drink. If you are a Trader Joe's shopaholic like me, Trader Joe's is my happy place. You will really, and you like red wine, you will enjoy this. Um, It is dry. So if you're not into dry wine, you will not like it, but it's like dry and kind of spicy and very much like a very fall kind of a wine. It's really, really good. I discovered it last year during the fall season and I have honestly just been hooked ever since. I haven't had much of it um, obviously since it was warm weather months, spring and summer. But now that we are in fall, baby, I think this is like my second bottle that I've bought this and since it's since it turned fall okay because i try to kind of predominantly drink those red wines like during the colder months but y'all it's 70 something and like beautiful outside it's not cold yet but we are all into the fall stuff i'm even wearing a poncho um love getting dressed for y'all this is super cute i got my little you know fall little outfit uh behind me uh, which honestly I've never worn that dress with that bag before, but I totally need to. Um, and I love the idea of filming here. This is actually where my closet is. This is my closet behind me. I love the idea of filming here and just like displaying an outfit behind me because I don't know, it's like, it's like a mannequin or something. <laughs> so anyways, just me getting a little bit creative with the backgrounds. Um, I know y'all get tired of looking at the same thing all the time. I know I get tired of filming in the same places sometimes. I try to switch it up for y'all. But yeah, I wanted to kind of just come on and share with you guys some thoughts that I've been having about time. Y'all know it's the end of the year. And at this time, especially in the fall time, I think we, we just take a lot of time generally, like as a society, to think about our life and think about how we're moving forward in our lives and what's going to happen to us, you know, by the end of the year. Are we going to make it to our dreams, our goals? Are we going to achieve those things by December 31st? And, um, you know, even if we're not fully going to achieve them, are we going to be closer? Are we moving the needle? You know, are we, you know, doing the things that we said that we were going to do this year? Um, and if we're not, how can we make it happen in like the next two to three months? Like, what are we doing? And so I think it's like, it's amazing because it's like a time for just kind of like new beginnings in a sense. Um, even though like the new year has not begun, we kind of are just like reevaluating a lot of things. And fall is like a really nice kind of like a fresh start. And I really wanted to present this idea to you guys of just your time and and letting you know how valuable your time is because we have so many time wasters 
in our society today and I'm talking about people and I'm talking about jobs and I'm talking about social media and I'm talking about all of the things that you allow to eat at your time. Um, we will never have more than 24 hours in a day, okay? Um, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be something and you have to build those boundaries. I'm going to tell you guys, there are several things that I decided to do um, literally within the last like couple of months or even the last month that are huge for me because it's me drawing a line in the sand to say, this is my time, you know, and these are my priorities. And if I have something in my life that's not a priority, boundary, boundary, I do not have time to play with y'all, <laughs> essentially, y'all know I'm silly. I don't know how time to play with y'all. I deleted all of my online dating accounts. Yes, yes. Now, I am someone who believes in at this point in my life. Now, listen, I, I've done, I've done other things in the past. Okay, I've been in and out of relationships. Yada yada. At this point in my life, I am somebody who I do not take any man seriously unless he um, has asked me to be his wife. Point blank period. I know what it is to date. Okay. I know what it is. I've dated. I've I've multi-dated or roster dated or whatever it is that people call it. Circular dating. I've heard all of these terms. Um, it's the same thing. You date multiple people at the same time. You know, you just kind of have that kind of life, life you know, dating life where, you know, you go out with one guy on one day, you know, the next night you're going out with a different guy and you just kind of are entertaining suitors, right? Um, yada, yada, yada. I've done it. I've done it. Um, and I would continue to do it. I will continue to do it. I do continue to do it. I do not take anybody seriously, though, who has not asked me to be their wife. So I'm not opposed to getting to know people. But at this point in my life, I am not interested in being on a dating app and swiping through a bunch of people, having, you know, 80% of them pointless conversations or back and forth talking about the same things just to not even, you know, meet someone who is like, like may, you may not even meet them at all, or you may have one conversation or, you know, and I, not to be like that. Dating has its time and place. And I'm sure I will probably make another video all about dating. But um, y'all, I had to get rid of the, da the uh, dating apps. <laughs> had to get rid of the online dating apps. Um, mostly because there's a lot of time wasters on there. And if you are somebody who has not kind of curated a like vetting system. And to be honest, even if you have, because I had... Um, it becomes very, very time consuming, actually even more time consuming. A vetting system will help make it less time consuming if you are online dating. But at, for, at this point in my life and for multiple reasons, I had to get off the online dating apps. I don't think I'll ever do it again. Who knows what the future holds? But, you know, it's crazy because they gained popularity when I was in college and I've been on and off of them for years, you know, and just like, I feel like I was going around in circles and just wasting my time. And even with the men that I did meet, yes, I had a lot of valuable, you know, lessons learned and experiences and wonderful experiences. I've met wonderful men online. I'm not here to, you know, talk crap about men or online dating. But for me at this point in my life, I did not see the value in it. I did not see the benefit in it. And that's something that I had to cut out of my life because it was eating up so much of my time for no reason and I didn't feel that I was getting back much from it you know with that time that I've gained back I've been using it to just focus more on myself uh, during this season where it's like okay it's fall you know we're gearing up for you know the holidays and the end of the year and you know like I mentioned before our goals our dreams the things that we want to achieve and see ourselves you know be able to manifest by the end of the year um, and so I just felt like I needed to take my time back. Another thing that I've done recently is I put hard boundaries on my job. And y'all already know how I feel about work. I made that video already. <laughs> y'all already know how I feel about it. But 
nonetheless, of course, I am still working full time as I uh, disclosed in that video. Um, but I made a decision that I was going to put hard boundaries on my day job. I am not bringing work home. Absolutely not. Teachers are notorious for that. I refuse. I refuse to bring work home. If it's not absolutely necessary, I don't, I don't do it. I don't partake in it. I don't try to be an overachiever because I know where my priorities lie. If you know what I mean. I know where my priorities lie and it, and it's not in being teacher of the month or employee of the month. Um, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to, when I'm there, I'm going to give a hundred percent. Absolutely. But when I'm not there, I am not going to, I'm not there. I'm not there. And I had to draw a hard line in the sand. In the past, I have done the opposite. I have gone, gone above and beyond. I've stayed late. I've worked from home. I've done this. I've done that. I refuse. That is not the trajectory that I want my life to go in. And I encourage you to do the same, okay? Work-life balance often is not something that the company or the school or wherever it is that you're working is going to give you and hand you on a silver platter, right? You're going to have to create that for yourself, okay? Do your best. Get your work done. And when work is done, it's done. Go home. You're an employee, okay? Um, if you are trying to become a business owner or you're trying to, you know, you have other endeavors that are your projects, then of course, those are your babies. You're going to put your, your heart and soul and all your hours and all your time in there, which is exactly what I've been doing. You know, I've been using that energy that I'm saving from letting those other things go to using that energy towards the things that I actually care about. You know what I mean? My health and wellness, taking care of myself, making sure that I'm getting enough sleep, working out, which God help me, I need to be better. But <laughs> hey, who doesn't? Um, you know, just making sure that I'm taking time to eat those healthy meals and just, you know, take care of my body. Stop rushing around everywhere. Like eat well and, um, you know, take care of my skin. Keep my skincare up. Drink my water, which I don't even think I showed you guys my new cuppy. So cute, right? TJ Maxx. Ow, ow. I've been loving drinking water from this. And so cute for fall, right? Oh my God, love it, love it. I'm a cup girl. I'm a tumbler girl. I'm a water bottle girl. I'm all the girls. But <laughs> just a little, you know, kind of a little plug in there if you like the color mauve. Um, <laughs> but I feel like it's kind of like perfect for fall and winter. It's not like, you know, a hot pink. Also, this dusty pink color is really cute, too. I'm absolutely loving this outfit for y'all. Um, I'm going to have to show you. Just It's a little poncho with a little bell. Ooh, ooh, yep. Y'all know I had to get dressed up for y'all. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, you know, that's another thing. Like, working on my wardrobe, losing weight, being my best self, you know, Taking my time and putting it towards things I actually care about. Another thing is friends. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Ralph Smart on Infinite Waters, which I absolutely love his channel. Um, although, yeah, I don't always watch all of his videos because some of the content I feel like, I don't know. It's It gets into spiritual stuff. And if you're not like into all of those spiritual things, then it may not pertain to you. It may not be something of interest. However, a lot of his content is also really good. So, you know, if you don't know who he is, he's like a really, really famous um, UK YouTuber. And um, he was talking about in one of his recent videos how you need to basically like be a ghost. Become a ghost and like disappear somewhere and make your like make your dreams happen. Like focus on you. Leave all these other people alone and like focus on you. That is something that I know I have had to do. Um, I have, you know, just a good a handful of good friends. Um, a lot of them are not even in the same city that I live in. Um, I have probably like two friends in my city that I actually like hang out with. Um, and maybe some people would think that that's sad. Honestly, um, it, anytime that I have, ever needed anybody or wanted it to go out with anybody I've had someone to go with so you know but I'm also the type of person where a lot of the times I do not mind going places by myself I actually enjoy it um and I do try to make that kind of like a habit in my life because I never want to feel like 
you know, oh, I can't do this by myself. I have to have somebody else with me. Y'all know I solo travel. You know I enjoy going to the movies alone and going out to eat alone. And, you know, that's something that I'm really proud about because a lot of people can't do that. And it makes you feel like stuck or like trapped like oh my gosh if I don't have somebody to go with me I can't do this thing so it's a very liberating feeling also having a lot of friends means okay I take that back okay I don't have just like two friends I probably have I have like a group of friends um that I can actually do things with I was thinking of two friends in my head and then I was like okay wait a minute this person this person okay no, but I have, I would say less than five, okay? Um, I have a nice little handful of friends in my area and then a lot of my um, close friends, or I would say like my closer friends um, who we, we talk, we talk often, they do not live in this state, in this city. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, less friends means that you are going out less, you're spending less money, if you have financial goals, instead of going out with friends and, you know, going out to eat and going out to get drinks and going out to party, like being able to just save your money, <laughs> enjoy the bills you pay for. You pay for that Netflix bill, girl, enjoy it. You pay for that HBO bill, enjoy it. You, you know, pay your taxes, go to that park across the way, you know, right next to your house. Or go to the lake, walk around it, listen to some, you know, something that's going to enrich you, enrich your soul. Y'all know I do that all the time. I'm literally taking you guys everywhere with me. Um, <laughs> so if, you, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you would know that I absolutely love to go walking. I usually go um, at this trail close by my house. Um, but I, I venture off into a couple different places, have a picnic, you know, um, or do things with your friends that are like, you know, more cost effective. Um, you know, if that's if, if you're like trying to save money or trying to do something and you know that you need a certain amount of money and you can't really be spending like that. You're like, no, I got to do this. Or if you need to keep in touch with your friends instead of going out so much, you know, give them a phone call, limit it to an hour, you know, try to do things that is going to give you your time back. Your time is so valuable and not just your time in a day, like the hours in the day, but your time as far as your time for the rest of this year. The days are ticking on by, guys. They are ticking on by. We've got two and a half months left in this year, okay? I don't know about y'all, but towards the end of this year, I have a lot of things that I am praying for, that I am believing for, that I am hoping um, you know, manifest for me. And I am so excited to share more with you guys when things pop off and happen. But I know that all of us have that. We all have something that we're working towards. And I want you to understand that, you know, and this is a realization I had literally speaking to myself and speaking from my heart, that my time is so valuable. I don't have time to be having meaningless conversations with these random guys online and trying to, you know, let them know where I want to go out for dinner or whatever the heck. Like, I just, you know, and because, <laughs> you know, a lot of us ladies, we do not like planning dates. And some of these guys just don't understand, um, you know, and, and the older you get, the less your patience kind of runs. And, you know, I'm not trying to be holding your hand, trying to like, okay, uh, let's go here. Would oh, you like this place? Oh, this time. Like, no, you're going to have to come to me come up to me, you know, come to me correct. I said that like three times. Why? Um, <laughs> come correct. Okay. I want to take you out. I, this is a nice place. I've heard about this place. I think you would enjoy it. How is X day at X at Y time? And I will let you know if I'm available. And if I'm not available on that day, I can suggest another time. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's all she wrote. But the problem is a lot of these men, and this is what I'm back to my point of online dating. Y'all, I swear, I don't even have to make another video about online dating because I'm giving y'all the straight right now. A lot of these guys are time wasters because they want to go back and forth with you talking about what color the sky is and what you're looking for and how many kids you want to have and don't even know how to ask you on a freaking date. So it's like pointless. My, my time is valuable. My energy is valuable. I, you know, there are women that actually get invested. 
They get invested in these men, these conversations that they're having with these men for weeks and weeks on end. When I was online dating, I gave you one week. If you did not ask me out in that one week, you were done. I mean, you were either getting it to the archives or I would delete you. Like, y'all, <laughs> I was not playing no games. And that's why I got still got fed up and I still went, went ahead and deleted it. And I'm telling you guys, like I've on and off for years, like this is the same story that it's always been. And I'm done with it. Um, <laughs> and I could honestly go on and on on a tangent on that one, but I won't. But your time is valuable. Your time is valuable. You don't have time to be letting these men waste your time. Okay, you don't have time to be running around with your friends, um, you know, wasting money and, and doing just pointless stuff. And I'm not saying like, don't ha have friends, don't hang out with your friends. But like, folk, like, I just I feel like a lot of people like everybody is kind of like focused on them. Oh, like, let's say like 90, like 80 to 90% of the time. And you know, if you are like focused on your friends, focused on what we're doing this weekend, focused on this, focused on that, you know, outside of you, then you're the one who gets lost in the sauce. Focus on you. And when it comes time around for you to see those friends again, you can actually have something to share. You can actually have like things that have happened in your life that you're like, oh my God, like this, that, and the third, like my life is, you know, moving forward. I'm progressing. And I'm not saying Obviously, like, don't hang out with friends, but let it be purposeful. Let it be val a valuable use of your time. What are these friends really, really, like, adding to your life? And are you aligned? Are you guys in a place where you're both kind of, like, helping each other and you're supporting each other? You know, you're real sisters and you're moving forward and you have, you know, similar goals, similar dreams. Obviously, you don't have to be the exact same to your friends. Uh, what fun is that? You know, we all have different personalities, different things that we may want in life that don't match up with each other. But I have to, I have to say, all of my close friends, my closest friends, we are all on the same accord. Like, we pretty much want majority of the same things. Um, we like doing the same kind of activities, okay? We enjoy traveling, for example. Like, my close friends are people that I know. I can say, hey, girl, what do you think about going on this cruise? Hey, girl, what do you think about doing this type of a, a all-inclusive, you know, vacation? I'm a travel agent, by the way. Information below if you're looking to travel, if you're looking to take a vacation, COVID's over. We're back to normal now. Everybody, it's time to travel. Y'all, I've been booking trips left and right. Got another cruise coming up with one of my girls. Actually, the same girl that I went on my last cruise with. She's my best friend, Olivia. Y'all might have seen her in some videos back in the day. I post all my little travel diaries on here. So I know y'all, if you keep it, if you keep up, uh, you know, it's all on here. But my friends are the type of friends where we are going to go travel. We are going to go brunch. We are going to go shop. We are going to, you know, spend, you know, time watching these self-development videos on YouTube and like go on the phone and just like talk about it and talk about how we can be better and talk about what we got from the video and different things like that. Talk about how we're going to improve our lives and, and be able to like come together and really, you know, share and grow and like continue to just become better because that is what I'm all about self-development and self-love and just continuing to grow as a person so if your friendships are not like that let those people go you know face them out because honestly your time is valuable your time is valuable and you do not have time for that you do not have time precious time to be giving your boss that is not in your contract hours that are not hours that you are being billed for okay you don't have time you don't have time honey you have your dreams you have your goals you have your life that you are creating you don't have time to be trying to prove to somebody who could is dangling you on a string and could literally let you go at any moment, which is why I like teaching for one thing is it is a profession that is very, very secure. Um, very secure. Kids are always going to need teachers. Teachers will always basically have jobs. There's, you know, not enough teachers. That's mostly what you hear. There's a shortage of teachers 
and that's for a different topic for a different day but that's one reason I like my profession for one thing um for now I have a friend who's in HR who just got laid off these jobs will work you to the bone if you let them dangle you on a string and then cut it and say you know what we actually don't need you after all so you don't have time for that you don't have your precious time for that you make your job work for you create that work-life balance use that money that you're making to create the life that you really do want for yourself the lighting in this video was a little bit wonky had to turn on the overhead light but um i just had to say it i just had to say it y'all this wine is so good choose you understand that your time is valuable on another note family family in the way of friends obviously you can't drop family you can't really technically you could you could cut off family you could phase out family and a lot of times you can't do that <laughs> especially if you live with them um and even if you don't live with them <laughs> but when it comes to family same thing you've got to have those boundaries you've got to you know draw that line in the sand and say you know what my time is valuable if i want to enrich myself if i want to get to the next level if i want to do this that and the third i'm gonna have to create boundaries with this person who is always trying to use me for my time my energy my money xyz abc trying to crash at my place trying trying to use my car you know making messes in my life you know and we all have those family members we all have those family members those family members that try to infect you with you know limited be limiting beliefs and negativity and you know you can't share anything with them because you know that they're just going to bring you down like we all have those family members distance yourself distance yourself away from that now is not the time you don't need that you need to be focused on you and i think i need to um i think i need to link that ralph smart video down below um again i'm not saying let your friends go i'm not saying cut your friends off but what he's talking about um you know cutting people uh kind of off in a sense uh, disappearing, becoming a ghost, and then coming back like bigger, better, stronger. That's on some real ish. And you know what? I have always struggled with this my en entire life. I, I can be reclusive, but I always like, I'm a social being. I'm a social being. I'm somebody who likes to share. I always want to like talk about my new ideas. And I always want to talk about like what I want to do next and what I'm doing next. And oh yeah, let's do brunch. And oh yeah, let's go out. Like I love to spend money and I love to go out with friends. And I love to just, even by myself, like I just love to be out and about and doing things. But I've had to really shift my mind and shift my focus to, okay, how is this serving my overall purpose of what I need to be doing focusing my time on at this time I said I wanted you know to get my channel to a thousand subscribers okay I'm not posting videos consistently that's a problem right I said I wanted to lose this weight well I'm not focusing in on my diet and watching my alcohol intake and don't worry these calories are budgeted <laughs> but I'm not doing the things that I need to do I'm not making it to my workout classes I'm not prioritizing these things. There's a problem here. Yet, I'm prioritizing Netflix. Yet, I'm prioritizing going out for drinks um, this weekend. Yet, I'm prioritizing dating this guy that I don't even like, don't even see any potential in. He hardly even put any effort into planning this date. What the heck am I doing? You need to start asking yourself those kind of questions and you need to reclaim your time reclaim your time i know i had to give myself a swift kick in the behind because between work between social life friends family things that were happening um you know dating and different situations that kept coming up in that um you know and not just with new people um you know and god y'all already know i don't really talk about my personal life that much on these videos not in detail but all you need to know about me is I am not married and I am not claiming anybody who has not claimed me. 
if I'm not engaged, which I am not engaged, nobody gets claimed. So therefore, I am on the market until the day that I'm officially off the market, if you know what I'm saying. That's on some grown-ish, okay? I am not here for the play-play. Not here for the games, not here for the play-play. <laughs> Y'all, I have been going for like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna love you and leave you, okay? Thank you for this girl chat, wine and all. I love you guys. I will be seeing you in the next one. I think that I'm gonna make this a series, for real. We're gonna have wine, we're gonna have girl chat, we're gonna have, you know, a cute little outfit in the background. I'm gonna be looking a little cute. We're gonna have, you know, just a whole smorgish board of just fun and laughs and real talk and you know just girl talk at home comfy and our comfy cozies this is actually extremely comfortable i got it in my fab fit fun box love it love it all right y'all i'm gonna love you and leave you and i will talk to you in the next one bye